we're going to discuss some facial fillers and injectables. So in our practice, we do facial surgery and facial cosmetics. Uh, a lot of the cosmetic treatments are non-surgical and they involve devices such as all therapy, microneedling, and also other um, injectables and fillers. The different injectables are used for different parts of the face. Vol this is a, on the thinner side, we have the Volbella and the Bellateros and the Restylane Kisses. These ones I like to use in the lips or under eye area. Then you have medium type fillers, which are more these kind of fillers that are great for lips, uh, nasolabial folds, marionette lines. And then we have thicker fillers such as Restylane Lift that I like to use in the mid face area. So depending on which parts of your face we're gonna treat, your provider will use a different filler. So many times patients are like, hey, I went somewhere else and they use this on my face. Can you use the same one? I'm happy to try and accommodate sometimes, but there are also fillers that I like to use that I prefer. So a lot of times it's a discussion and education that we have with our patients. I don't think it really matters at the end which filler we end up using. I think the most important thing is your injector's experience and their knowledge of the anatomy and what they're trying to do. So those are all things that are most important.